From 1948 through the 1990s, a single word dominated life in South Africa. Apartheid. The apartheid regime kept the country's majority black population under the thumb of a small white minority. It would take decades of struggle to stop the policy, which affected every facet of life in a country locked in centuries-old patterns of discrimination and racism. Hello, welcome to my channel, and make sure to subscribe. Segregation like began in 1948, after the National Party came to power. The Nationalist Political Party instituted policies of white supremacy, which empowered white South Africans who descended from both Dutch and British settlers in South Africa, while further disenfranchising black Africans. The system was rooted in the country's history of colonization and slavery. White settlers had historically viewed black South Africans as a natural resource to be used to turn the country from a rural society to an industrialized one. Starting in the 17th century, Dutch settlers relied on slaves to build up South Africa. Around the time that slavery was abolished in the country in 1863, gold and diamonds were discovered in South Africa. That discovery represented a lucrative opportunity for white-owned mining companies that employed and exploited black workers. Those companies all but enslaved black miners while enjoying massive wealth from the diamonds and gold they mined. Like Dutch slaveholders, they relied on intimidation and discrimination to rule over their black workers. Having aggressively promoted an ideology of Afrikaner nationalism for a decade, the National Party won South Africa's 1948 election by promising to clamp down on non-white groups. Once in office, the National Party promptly began to institute racial laws and regulations it called apartheid. Led by Daniel Malan, a former pastor in the Dutch Reformed Church turned politician, the National Party described apartheid in a pamphlet produced for the election as a concept historically derived from the experience of the established white population of the country and in harmony with such Christian principles as justice and equity. It is a policy which sets itself the task of preserving and safeguarding the racial identity of the white population of the country, of likewise preserving and safeguarding the identity of the indigenous peoples as separate racial groups.